Hi, Johnny here, and welcome to Birdland. I'm proud to announce that tonight is our 51st virtual concert. I want to send the thanks out to Arturo O'Farrell, to the entire orchestra, and to Brian Davis, who has put all of these shows together for us. Without further ado, please welcome the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra, directed by Arturo O'Farrell.
This is a very special virtual bird land. This is week 51, a week before our year anniversary of doing these sessions. But it's also special because on Friday we released this. This is virtual bird land, Arturo Farrell and the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra. This is the recording of 51 weeks, the best of 51 weeks that we put together. We just released this on Zoho Music. And it's just a beautiful recording of the best of these sessions. Look at all these people that came together to make this experience possible for you. Look at that. Look at all those human beings that got together on a weekly basis for 51 weeks to bring you our family, to integrate our family into yours. And so this Birdland is uh, taken from the recording as well. Not every cut made it into this into this uh, stream, but a lot of them did. And you just heard Gulab Hamon, which is a composition and arrangement of my own, and it featured Jasper Dutz. We're going to perform for you now a uh, composition by Malika Sara, arranged by Kali Rodriguez Pena, and this is Pouvoir.
great, amazing Malika Zara, who sings, walks, breathes in such beautiful rhythm. Uh, beautiful rhythms of Morocco flow through this woman, and that was her composition, Pouvoir, arranged by Kali Rodriguez Peña and featuring Mario Bilston and Kesa Jimenez. Now, the next piece we're going to play for you is a piece that I love. It's written by a composer, a brilliant composer, and it's written for his group, Orquesta Crumpiles of Brazil, and I want you to enjoy Alafia by Letieres Lieche.
by a great composer. Olaf Hill composed by Lecieres Lieche and uh, featuring Larry Bustamante. Um, one of our guests on this virtual Birdland CD, which I'm so proud of, is a gentleman who I've known for much of my life and who was a dear friend to the O'Farrells, to Chico, to Lupe. We love him and we want you to enjoy what he has to say because he has a message for you. Please listen very carefully to Paquito Rivera. Hello everybody, this is Paquito de Rivera. So, what is more important than the groove? Uh, nothing, right? Nothing.
Won't you join your voice with Paquito Rivera's, with Quesel Jimenez so jo and Joanna Opieta? Won't you join your voice with them? Won't you come into this experience that we call staying the groove? Sustain the groove is something I used to tell my kids. I'd ask them periodically, what's more important than the groove? And they'd say, nothing, Dad, because they know, they knew, and they understand something that we all need to understand, that we need to sustain the groove. Nothing is more important than the groove. Nothing. And the truth of the matter is the groove has been curtailed. For a year now, the groove has been curtailed. For all kinds of musicians, this pandemic has devastated freelance artists. And we began the year by starting an emergency artist fund. We raised $105,000 to help musicians survive the pandemic, to put food on the table, to pay their rent. And this, it's not over. We still need you to help us to sustain the group. We still need you to help us provide this virtual Birdland series to pay the costs associated with it and to continue to help teachers from the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance go into the New York City public school system to help teachers, to help pay our teachers to take charge of the Shape Shifter Fat Cat program on Sundays. We still grooving. We still grooving and we need your help to help us, to help sustain this groove. So won't you consider giving to our crowdfunding campaign? It goes towards education, it goes towards performance, it goes towards keeping the Afro-Latin Jazz Lions and the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra doing what it does best, which is to serve you. Art and music are service to others. And that's the lesson that we learned in the pandemic. That's the lesson that we learned. My son is giving a, a trumpet lesson, so please don't worry about that. Anyway, you sounds pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> the truth of the matter is that the pandemic has still hit us hard. And to continue to sustain the groove, to continue to be a part of our lives, it's, it's, it's what life is about. In the recording, in the pandemic year, I learned that service to others is what art is all about. And that's what the afro Latin Jazz Orchestra did, that's what it's doing now, and that's what we're asking you to take part with us. This next piece of music was commissioned by the afro Latin Jazz Orchestra to the great composer and trombonist Pablo Vasquez. This piece is called Cimarron. Wow, you sound good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Admiral Don Angel Papo Vasquez in his composition El Cimarron, featuring Abdul Rahman Amer, Alejandro Avalis, and Carly Carlos Maldonado. Now we heard this gentleman speak to us and implore us to sustain the groove, but 
is also one of the greatest musicians on the planet. So listen to Paquito de Rivera again as we perform his composition with him, Samba for Carmen, written for the great Carmen McRae. Thank you. 
Samba for Carmen, featuring the great Paquito de Rivera, his composition Chico Farrell's amazing arrangement, also featuring Adam O'Farrell. Now we're going to go to a clip that I really love. A lot of you don't know about our Fat Cat program. Our Fat Cat program is one of the pride and joys of my life. We bring together uh, young musicians from all over the city by audition and bring them into a program called the Fat Cats. And this is a performance they did of Sambia from the green space, the Fat Cats.
Zambia, composed by Mario Bassa, arranged by Marcus Persiani and Michael Philip Mossman, and featuring our great Fat Cat Youth Ensemble. Um, that was from the green space, but you have a chance to see the Shapeshift the Fat Cat stream on Monday, April 12th at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. These kids have challenged the very notions of reality. They became art teachers. They got together on a weekly basis in the worst of this pandemic since September and have rehearsed and practiced and now they want to play for you. Would you please listen to them on Monday, April 12th at 7 p.m. They will be streaming. A um, couple of great shows that are coming up. We have Antonio Sanchez with us uh, the week after our anniversary uh, on Sunday the 25th. On Sunday, the 28th, we have the Shapeshifter Sessions, which is a co-production of the Soraya Performing Arts Center and the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance, in which we went to Shapeshifter in the freezing cold and filmed a Fandango at the Wall concert, complete with guests Mandy Gonzalez, the Villalobos brothers, and the Son Jarocho master musicians that helped us make Fandango at the Wall. Please don't miss that. Um, the kids. The incredible kids of the Fat Cat program, Luke Caruana on the alto sax, Flora Lenihan on the alto sax, Philip Flagg on the tenor sax, Madison D'Angelo on the tenor sax, Ben Carnicas on the baritone sax, Mimi Block on the violin, Rebecca Roth on the trombone, Tony Wrinkler on the trombone, Sam Leviathan, a great young trumpet player, uh, Isaac Dubow on the trumpet, Andrew Werner on the trumpet, uh, Omar Wetzer on the, on the piano, Felix, Felix Hartley on the bass, David... Rob Congus, Adam Cabo Timbales, Lars Asmundson on the drums and percussion, and John Schneider on drums and percussion, also featuring our great Fat Cat teacher, Jim Seeley. Fat Cat program is so dope, y'all. It's one of the best things that we've ever done, and these young people have gone together and rehearsed on a regular basis. I'm super proud of them. I also want to give a shout out to Marad and Isabel. My niece, we just got her married off. And they're so beautiful and they're so cute. Congratulations. Love you so much. Congratulations, Mark and Davina. What a beautiful moment in my life. We're going to close now with a piece of music that uh, is written by the great Tito Puente. But before we close, we want to give thanks to some very special people. We want to begin by giving thanks to our production team, Associate Artistic Director Adam O'Farrell, our... Uh, lead video and content editor Brian Davis, uh, ably assisted by the incredible Astrid Asmundson, our sound engineer Peter Carl, and additional technical assistance by Andrew Andron. We want to thank the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance for being the ship that our orchestra tools around and the incredible support staff that we have is un unmistakably excellent. Led by Marietta Ulasia, our executive director, Andrea Thompson, our director of development, uh, Eric Taller, Director of Programming and Production. Zach O'Farrell, Director of Education. Stefan Anden Mikhail, Director of Operations. Felipe Tristan, Marketing and Communications Manager. And Gina Soto, our Music Administration Manager. We want to thank the great, the mighty, the powerful Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra. Roman Filiu, Alejandro Aviles, Addison Evans, Ivan Renta, Jasper Dutz, Livio Almeida, and Jeremy Powell and Larry Bustamante in the saxophones. Our trumpets, Seneca Black, Adam O'Farrell, Brian Davis, Walter Cano, Rachel Therrien, and Kai Sandoval. In the trombones, Rafi Malkiel, Mario Bilston, Abdul Rahman Amer, Zito Lavelle, Earl McIntyre, and James Rogers. In our rhythm section, always at the center of the maelstrom, Maelstrom, what a great word. Vince Cherico on the drums, Bam Bam Rodriguez on the bass, Carly Carlos Maldonado on percussion, and Kay Sel Jimenez on the congas. We have special guests this week, Malika Sar, our vocalist, Gustavo Didalva, uh, the Atabaques, Ever Everton Isidoro, uh, Paquito de Rivera, and Richard Miller. Um, we need to also acknowledge that uh, Birdland will be opening up from what I hear, from what Johnny has been saying, they'll be opening up in May. And I beg you, please support live music. Please support live music. You have no idea how important this is. As soon as things open up, go and support artists performing. It is by far the most important thing we could do. This industry has been devastated. And would you do me a favor? Would you, as soon as you're safe to do so, get out and go support live performance. It means the world to me. Um, thank you, Johnny. 
Thank you, Birdman. Thank you for being part of our lives for all these incredible years. Uh, this is Para Los Rumberos, composed by Tito Puente, arranged by Jose Madera. Wait, don't go away. I'll tell you who the soloist are. Ivan Renta, the great Ivan Renta, Rafi Malkel, Brian Davis, Quesel Jimenez, Carly Carlos Maldonado, and Vince Cherico. Now, you've heard it before, I'll say it again. Please do me a favor. Wear the freaking mask. Do me that favor. And on top of that, stay far apart. Six feet apart is better than six feet under. Get the vaccine as soon as it's available. Don't listen to those knuckleheads who say the vaccines, blah, blah, blah. It's just nonsense. Get it, please. And uh, stay positive, test negative. We'd like to see you again. Love you, thank you.
We want to thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this evening's performance. Until next week, good night.